Okay, yes. so yeah. I'll start my presentation. My thank you for your introduction. My name is Kohei Fujita from the Earthquake Research Institute of University of Tokyo. So I'm also a visiting scientist at the Computational Disaster Mitigation and Reduction Research Team at RCCS RIKEN. And so today I will talk about our work, Enhanced Earthquake Simulation with Data-Driven Methods and Stochastic Analysis. Uh, done with our team at the University of Tokyo, as well as collaborators from Fujitsu, Jamstick, and Riken. Okay. So uh, in this talk, I will introduce two topics related to our recent solver development for Fugaku system. The first is work on scalable finite element solver accelerated by data-driven methods which use past time history data to speed up simulation with online learning and inferencing. So this work is presented in a Scala H workshop in SC22. And uh, in the latter part, uh, we'll, uh, I'll talk about a scalable stochastic finite element solver to conduct uncertainty quantification of huge scale problems uh, with lead author Tsuyoshi Chimura from uh, University of Tokyo. Uh, which was selected as one of the ACM Gordon Bell Prize finalists in SC22. So uh, mainly the first talk, uh, half first half is about the uh, the data driven method, or uh, more on to the AI part, and the latter part is a little bit different. But uh, I will talk about this uncertainty quantification. Okay, so let me introduce our first topic: uh, acceleration of time history simulation using data driven methods. So with the development of data-driven methods, we can expect improvement of uh, scalable solvers, and we are developing methods to accelerate the PDE-based time history simulation by the data-driven method. Uh, we are currently developing a general method to accelerate time history simulation, where we predict initial solution of implicit solvers in PDE-based time history simulation using data of previous time steps. Application of this method to dynamic earthquake wave propagation problem enables the 26 fold speed up and scalable up to full Fugaku system, uh, which was awarded uh, HBC Asia 2022 Best Paper Award. And uh, so in today's talk, we apply this method to uh, earthquakes, uh, sorry, Earth's viscoelastic crustal deformation problem uh, using this data driven initial solution predictor. Uh, so we target the large-scale PDE-based time history simulation solving sparse matrix equation many times, uh, which solves the equation uh, below uh, for uh, each of the many time steps. Yeah, this one. So where here AN is a known sparse matrix, delta UN is unknown vector, and FN is a known vector for time step N. And the as AN is sparse, and the degrees of freedom is large, a uh, iterative solver is used to solve equation one on a massively parallel computer environment. Uh, in order to solve this problem, we design an algorithm for solving huge problems with poor uh, convergence depending on the characteristics of the AN matrix uh, by efficient combination of equation-based and data-driven approach together under load balancing and reduced communication requirements for massively parallel computing. So in our method, we use a data-driven method to estimate the initial solution of the iterative solver, where high order modes are resolved prior to the iterative solver using results of the previous time steps. So here the uh, time evolution matrix A is estimated as xn minus one equals axn minus two, where A, uh, the xn minus one is uh, previous S steps of uh, the simulation. As transient low order modes that deteriorates the accuracy of data driven method, uh, we remove these transient modes using an equation based predictor. In this case, a delta U and Adams is predicted using the Adams bash force method. And the data driven approach is used to obtain the non transient high order modes uh, like this. So we correct the uh, uh, solution of the uh, Adams method with this data driven method. As data learning and inference can be conducted in subdomains internal to the MPI process subdomains, this becomes a communication free method and is scalable to large systems. 
So we target computation of viscoelastic response of Earth's crust for given false slip uh, based on the governing equations below. Here, the time history response for this uh, input fault at plate boundary is computed. And here in this solver, we use a data-driven predictor to estimate the initial solutions for the adaptive conjugate gradient solver with a hybrid algebraic and geometric multigrid preconditioner. Okay, so for performance measurement, we compare performance with a three by three block Jacobi preconditioned conjugate gradient solver, PCGE, which can be regarded as a, a widely used standard solver and a multi-grid solver with a standard initial solution predictor, uh, which can be considered as a widely used state-of-the-art solver. So when seeing the uh, required iterations for the smallest problem of 576 nodes, uh, we can see that the total number of iterations is reduced by about uh, one-fourth by using our uh, data-driven predictor compared to the standard multi-grid solver. Furthermore, when we compare with the PCG uh, standard solver, the number of iteration reduced by about one uh, to one eighth. Also, the developed solver uh, scales uh, almost uh, constant iterations and elapsed times up to uh, 73,000 nodes of Fugaku, uh, leading to a 5.2 fold speed up from the uh, state of the art multi grid solver and a further 76-fold uh, speed up from the standard solver. So we can see that the developed initial solution predictor is effective up to very large problems, and it's expected to be effective on other time history problems as well. OK, so next I will talk about the uncertainty quantification of earthquake simulation with stochastic simulation of earth crust as an example. So uncertainty quantification is one of the keys to enhance HPC to high quality computing or HQC, and is especially important for simulation in fields with large effects of uncertainty, such as earthquake simulation fields. So this problem solves the probabilistic space in addition to the temporal and spatial domains with numerical convergence for assuring quality of simulations. That means the assurance of the convergence in the probabilistic domain is also required in addition to the physical domains. So for example, this problem can be solved using a Monte Carlo simulation. However, this leads to huge computational costs as many samples are required for convergence in the stochastic response. So in this study, we developed a super fast stochastic finite element solver scalable up to the full Fugaku system by a highly efficient multigrid and mixed precision solver algorithm, considering the characteristics of the solution space, uh, together with a high performance computation method suitable for the Fugaku system architecture. So here, a 37 trillion degrees of freedom model was computed with 19% uh, uh, FP64 peak efficiency uh, with 87% weak scalability on Fugaku, which corresponds to a 224-fold speed up from a state-of-the-art deterministic solver uh, used on full summit. So using our developed method, we enabled uncertainty quantification of an actual cross structure model shown here of a Nankai trough region around Japan with uh, 32 trillion degrees of freedom, cross-cell deformation analysis. So here the region is modeled with an 11 layered cross model with 10 stochastic variables. And its response is computed using a mesh with very fine elements with a uh, minimum size of 375 meters. Uh, so this is a result of two points at the surface. We can see that the probabilistic response is obtained, and we can obtain such distribution for the whole uh, three-dimensional domain, which is important for information uh, monitoring uh, the subsequent processes after earthquakes. Okay, so in the remaining time, I will show the details of our developed method. I will first explain the target problem, here for material property E, given as a probability distribution, uh, we obtain the stochastic response of displacement U such that it satisfies this equation. Here, uh, X is the position in the 3D continuum V, and omega is the sampling point in sample space uh, omega, and Fj is external force. 
uh, here this material property E is expressed in this form, uh, where E uh, zero is the main material property and sigma K is the standard deviation in subdomain uh, VK. HK is a heavy side function taking values in uh, the domain VK and uh, xi k uh, are independent and normally distributed stochastic variables. So a straightforward approach to solving this stochastic problem is to use the Monte Carlo simulation as ex existing deterministic HPC applications are directly applicable. However, many samples are required for convergence in stochastic response as non-normal distribution can be obtained for response. So for example, for this problem with a normal distribution in the material properties, the displacement response distribution becomes non-normal and we can say that the 1000 case or 5000 case Monte Carlo simulation is insufficient for numerical convergence and at least 10,000 simulations are required. And we can see that this leads to a huge computation cost compared to the deterministic simulations. So one candidate for solving the stochastic problem is the use of stochastic finite element method, where the basis functions are used to discretize the probabilistic space in addition to the spatial domain in the finite element method. So here we discretize the displacement field U uh, equals sigma psi uh, U in the probabilistic space, and we discretize UP using a finite element method in the physical space. So the coefficients of u can be obtained by minimization of the functional for the stochastic boundary bank value problem uh, shown here. Uh, this may look a little complicated, but in the end, it results in a large system of linear set of equations a u equal b with three n times n p c plus one unknowns, where n is the number of finite element nodes, three n is the number of uh, the finite element uh, spatial degree of freedom and NPC plus one is the number of stochastic basis functions. So in theory, we can solve the equations of the stochastic finite element method to solve the stochastic problem. However, this is very challenging when considering large problems with assurance of solution in the spatial and probabilistic domain. For numerical convergence of a stochastic response, we need at least a third order stochastic expansion for, and in a prop case of the problem with 10 stochastic variables, this NPC becomes a 285. So that means that not only the degrees of freedom of the problem becomes 286 fold larger than the deterministic problem, but the memory requirements for storing the comp uh, components of the sparse matrix becomes uh, huge. So in case of NPC equal 285, we can only solve a 1.5 billion degrees of freedom problem, even when using the full Fugaku's full memory capacity. On the other hand, we want to solve a 37 trillion degrees of freedom problem, uh, which is uh, way larger than this problem. So uh, we have to think of a way to reduce the memory footprint while conducting highly efficient computation. So in order to solve this problem, we decompose the matrix A into a spatial and stochastic parts such that the memory footprint is reduced. Uh, so here, this the problem is the 37 trillion by 37 trillion problem, but we can decompose this into a, a matrix, matrix uh, multiplication of uh, a sparse matrix times a dense matrix. And this uh, becomes a very uh, computationally efficient compared to the sparse matrix uh, product. And so this code can be generated, uh, can be uh, efficient code but can be generated on the CPU and GPU architectures for this uh, type of computation. And uh, so we can get 48 or 44 percent of the uh, FP64 peak on the Fugaku CPU or A100 GPU. Uh, so uh, by this, we can reduce the memory footprint and also get a higher performance. And we combine this with the conjugate gradient and multigrid solver algorithms to enable an uh, efficient solver. So a uh, stochastic finite element method uh, that can compute problems at this scale is not available. We compare performance with a Monte Carlo simulation. 
as we cannot actually compute many cases of a managed care load simulation, uh, we assume at least 10,000 cases are required for convergence and multiply the time required for one case of simulation uh, by 10,000. So this shows the results. Uh, the normal uh, FEM simulation would take 60,000 seconds. The stochastic FEM without the multigrid solver, a 2,000 second, and the proposed method with the multigrid solver and stochastic FEM, we can get 216 seconds. So this is corresponds to about 280 times speed up from the uh, Monte Carlo simulation. So we can see that we can get very good speed up on 4,000 Fugaku nodes. However, uh, this computation becomes very communication uh, bottlenecked, and uh, we need to uh, conduct a network topology aware partitioning when we uh, want to scale this to the full Fugaku system. And so for Fugaku 60 mesh torus, uh, we uh, decompose the domain uh, according to the uh, 3D mesh to network topology. Uh, so here we uh, do some partitioning in the XY domain, and then use a Metis type uh, partitioning, graph partitioning software to decompose in the that direction and put this uh, onto the MEF Fugaku 60 mesh torus. So this shows the perform we scan performance up to the full Fugaku system. And the dotted line shows the performance without the network topology aware partitioning. And the solid lines uh, show the uh, performance with the uh, network topology aware uh, partitioning. So we can see that we can get uh, performance increase uh, uh, by using the network aware uh, topology aware process. Uh, assignment, and we could get 87% weak scalability on full Fugaku, and that leads to 20% FP64 peak efficiency on the full Fugaku system. And this corresponds to 200 fold speed up from the state of the art Monte Carlo simulation on full summit. Okay, so in summary, uh, I uh, introduced two topics today, accelerated time history cross deformation simulation using data-driven methods. Uh, with learning and inferencing uh, while conducting simulation, we can get the five-fold speed up uh, over a highly efficient multigrid solver. And we, I've also uh, introduced a, a stochastic simulation method for uh, Earth's crux deformation problem. And results show that massive uh, capacity computing can be orders of magnitude faster than capacity computing. And this demonstrates the importance of developing large-scale computer systems for conducting large-scale uncertainty quantification and similar simulations. So last, I'd like to acknowledge this work was supported by MEXT and used computational research of Fuzuko Computer Fugaku, and also supported by J Space Kakenhi. And we thank members of RIKEN, RCCS, and uh, Research Organization for Information Science for the uh, full node scale simulations on a supercomputer Fugaku. Uh, thank you.